638 our score here. I feel speak, I feel speak, like speaking we're, of help. I feel like we're at Marley. Right here. I feel like we're at Marley Sports Grill. We got basketball, we got baseball going, we got Thunder Dan hanging out with us. Except the drinks aren't on me here. <laughs> <laughs> we know where to find you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> well, right here. It's, usually on, it's usually on the first tee. <laughs> Great to see you, my friend. Great to have you here at the home opener. Yeah, it's great to be here. I've uh, connected with a lot of guys. It's been fun seeing KJ and Steve Nash and Charles and Amari and the Matrix, all the guys. It's been awesome. Gordon, clean look. That was from a spot that you knocked out a couple times. Yeah. Me and Eddie, we'd usually fight for it. Yeah. I remember, though, him hitting that shot really in the Western Conference Finals in 96. Yeah, who were you playing for? That was game five. That, yeah. I still remember that shot. Then he looked at me and turned, and he sauntered back to the bench. You, know? <laughs> you, you, taught, you taught me well. <laughs> <laughs> so that was bad. Uh, you did a good job. <laughs> well, you're here. All the other guys you mentioned are here because of... Just another wonderful step by this new Suns ownership. Suns Ring of Honor will be fittingly placed as it should be as Eric Gordon sticks another triple. And Gordon with 17 points. But you just talk about this move, this gesture from Matt Ishbia, Josh Bartlestein, the organization, and what it means to, to you as somebody who put it all on the line with not only the organization, but for this fan base. Well, it makes me feel great. Matt's done a terrific job. I've never felt more welcome uh, coming in this building, and I do. Um, I've been here a couple times now, and it just feels like home again. And that's a big deal for me and, and for, you know, uh, older players because I've lived here on and on since 88, and I bleed orange. And that's what I want to do. And to be able to feel welcome when I come here and, and people, you know, want me to be here, um, it means the world to me. So uh, I really uh, respect him and admire him for doing that. Yeah, and for you, you know, as a young player, you know, back in the day when we was at the Madhouse of McDowell, to see the old players over there, the ex-players, was always a huge boost for the players that play, right? And and so they need that, to see guys like yourself and KJ and Tom Chambers around. Yeah, you know, I used to, uh, you know, the only jersey I ever bought in my life was a Van Arsdale jersey. And he was the original son. So, yeah, that's big for me is, uh, is tradition and, and guys that helped you get to where you got because of the hard work they put in. So I think it's a big deal. Like I said, Matt's done a terrific job of bringing that culture back. And it's only going to help. I mean, as many guys you can have around here is, is, is going to be good for everybody. Well, sort of the fans love it. I don't even tell you that. I mean, as soon as it was announced, you know, Twitter, Instagram, just absolutely blowing up. And it just speaks to, you know, what we have said about this team. I mean, the Suns are the original franchise. And, and you feel that with the energy of the fans and the history. Yeah, you do. It's, it's, you know, everywhere I go, people still talk about the 92-93 season and what we were able to accomplish there and the parade and, and kind of that culture. So, yeah, it's a big deal. Um, I love it. I love this organization. And it's fun being a part of it again. Yeah, and just looking at this team right now, Dan, I mean, obviously Devin and Bradley Beal, they're not in the lineup, but that's okay. We want them healthy, you know, as the season moves on. But what's your thoughts on this team and, and how far they can go? Well, I'm like everybody else. I think if they stay healthy, um, there's no reason they can't win it. Now at all, we all know that it takes a lot. That's a great move. Um, we all know it takes a lot of not only uh, good playing, but uh, you got to be healthy. You got to be really lucky. And this team's built to win. We all know that. I don't know how anybody's going to guard this team. But the additions of the role players, I think it's huge. But if you can keep Grant and Bill and, and Booker um, healthy, uh, they're going to be a beast. And I'm just so impressed. You know, not, not only with Grant. I, to be honest with you, I haven't seen Bill play a ton, but uh, the way Booker just keeps getting better. And better. I think he's an MVP uh, type player who could win it this year, but he just impresses me of how he continues to get better and he's unstoppable. Yeah. Well, and it really just speaks to, you know, I think sometimes fans lose sight because how effortless it looks when they're coming out here watching these games, but not 
really fully understanding the hours of work, the detail that goes into Devin Booker. Yeah, well, all the great ones, you know, make it look easy. You ever watch Eddie shoot a jump shot? You're like, how is he? Well, it's just it's smooth. That's the right. way it is. So all the great ones, you know, have that kind of in it. And Book is just one of those smooth scorers. And the greatest thing, he's just not a three-point shooter. He just can't take. He's got the mid-range game. He's got the post-up game. His defense has gotten better. He's just got high IQ. So you know, the, the, the sky's the limit for him. And I just think he's going to continue to get better and better. And, and not only that, he's the type of guy that you want representing your franchise. I mean, he's just such a good dude. Yeah, you know, once all the moves were made, people, you know, bring up the track, oh, the Suns don't have a point guard, but, you know, obviously Goodwin, it seems to be a good catch for them, but what's your thoughts on the fact that Devin playing point guard? Yeah, that doesn't bother me. You know, I don't know if you remember, you were gone, so if I probably brought it up against you. Sometimes Kevin yeah. would get hurt. I'd bring up the ball sometimes. Right. Point guards, you know, you got Durant who could bring it up. You got uh, Gordon, you got Booker, you got Beal. So point guards aren't a big deal. They're not going to be running a lot of set plays. They're going to want to get out and push it, uh, get a really good first shot available, so. I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, they'll handle that just fine. Yeah, Eric Gordon right now is saying, I'll show you a point guard. I got 21 first half points. <laughs> All these guys are so talented. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's talk about, as I look at this roster, as you look at this roster, Drew 